Hey guys, just a really quick emergency video. Uh, if you have any one of these objects, anything that is painted in black, uh, now is the time to start questioning what's going on right now, because in the world, I don't know if you've seen, but people are uh, wearing their, uh, uh, their, their headlamps on in the middle of the day, using their cars and stuff, right? It's just like they can't see or something. And every single one of them are wearing black. And uh, what I found was that my computer was starting to pull up as well, Every single time I connected to the, uh, even Ethernet or Wi-Fi, it would just drop out in CSGO or in Valorant, right? So I'm trying to play here and it's just not working. So what I had to do was I had to take off my uh, chokes that I used to advocate putting on. And uh, every single time I took these off, it kind of improved and improved. And then uh, now it's just working fine without any chokes at all. Before, there used to be uh, issues with the power. Because, uh, you know, power generators aren't very uh, clean when it comes to full delivery and you also got all these signals going in and out. But what I found was, the, I feel as if the um, the field effect of these uh, these black bodies, right? So if you've studied black body radiation, what happens is heat, right, travels into a black body, hits it and uh, it enters it, and then in return, it radiates IR, so infrared light. This infrared light uh, may be losing its efficiency now in the effect that this is now becoming some sort of temporal black hole, right? It's really weird, but the way that this is kind of happening to what I can see is that there are people on the street walking around in full black clothes and when you talk to them, they're gonna try to shout at you and uh, talk nasty words at you. And it's just not really making many senses, but what I've observed is that they're all wearing sunglasses black from head to toe with a, a hat maybe a shirt a jacket and pants and shoes at the same time and uh, the, there's nothing really you can say to talk them out of it until you argue with them for maybe 30 minutes and then maybe their brains will warm up long enough to actually make some sense but uh, what i posit is that because electrons actually move like a uh, a wave right uh, through the conductor and physically actually move very very slowly like a, a centimeter every minute or something uh, the actual thing that's traveling is the charge across the surface of the conductor and that's at the speed of light now if it's so fast then how come our thoughts and our reactions on doing anything with computers are so slow right it doesn't really make that much sense and if you factor in that this may be caused by some sort of temporal dilation with these uh, objects and uh, some sort of pull towards electrical signals that's increasing in intensity over time now because I I've realized that my computers are not as easy yet stable as they used to be and they are really kind of, you know, decreasing in stability despite using very low voltages well below degradation points. And uh, this has been an ongoing issue and it's like sometimes you'll be able to boot your memory and other days it won't really boot properly and uh, yeah it's been going on and on and on and what I've noticed is that the white builds that I've got for PCs actually run much better so uh, what I've actually done here is set up a little bit of an experiment and this has gotten rid of that you know phantom input lag where you're sometimes ahead or sometimes behind of the server and uh, it, all I can really describe it as is it's some sort of temporal interaction with the quantum physics realm and uh, the way that this is rectified is to put a lot of light in your PC or use white components and I even go as far as to uh, paint the die here with nail polish or the edges of the die sorry not the actual die itself don't paint that with nail polish it's just gonna kill your corn right and I even painted some on the uh, the RAM chips because the RAM chips don't run too hot on the 6750. And uh, yeah, it, it runs perfectly now. Um, also remove the black bars on the top of that RAM as well, because what's important is that the RAM seems to have really strange uh, issues with signaling, because I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I was like, oh yeah, use a two slot uh, RAM motherboard, right? It doesn't make sense because if the distance from here to here is only like maybe a centimeter difference, it should not change a whole lot, right? But in fact, it changes so much in input lag when you have a four slot versus a two slot board, it is like, a, it, there's no comparison. So my question is, is that actually caused by literally the color of the motherboard? Is it causing temporal dilation the further out it goes, right? Because it shouldn't need that long to reset a trace. Because after all, these things and the signals travel at near the speed of light, if at completely the speed of light. But, well here's the thing, black is the absence of all colors, 
and uh, without light, uh, there's really kind of no observer as to what's going on here. So maybe that's doing like an observation effect on the quantum physics realm, and uh, otherwise maybe it's just uh, providing food for the so-called black holes that are becoming uh, the black pigments on your computers. So if you have a blue motherboard or a green motherboard, green RAM, blue RAM, you know, with a PCB as well, maybe that's immune to it. And uh, maybe for a long time. But this is truly what it seems like, some kind of end-of-the-world prophecy, where all things black are becoming marked for destruction. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my crappy comments on YouTube, but I have been actually uh, gifted with some strange ability to calculate these kinds of things. There is a molecule called HHH, right, that you can Google, and what it means is... A, a molecule that works within your own DNA and it binds within it and it's bound by these three different things called HO, HO and HO. Now those are as if the holy 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 is mentioned in the Bible and the, the actual object, uh, the molecule is called Hetain or uh, if you're Chinese it's Heian, right? Or uh, Hemni or Hemi, right? So like half a empty bowl, right? And it's like a black hole. So Say, for example, if you are believing in the end of the world, then if uh, if God increases, then so does the so-called black hole, right? And uh, if that is actually the case, then you might be seeing uh, electrons sink into quantum phenomena. And that might be the reason why my Wi-Fi is starting to drop out out of the blue, right? Doesn't matter what kind of Wi-Fi I'm using. Doesn't even matter if I'm using Ethernet. I have to remove all of these chokes in order for my Ethernet to stabilize again. And these were only on the power lines, on the neutral and the live, not on the ground cable. And that's why I have them all separated. Now what's interesting is uh, also before on the mouse, I had a choke going like this over the wire. And I had one on each end. I had one over here, I had even one on the keyboard, and then I had one at the end of the computer over here. And uh, on each of these lines, I had about two on the mice, yeah, and uh, two on the keyboard. That worked fine last year. Now this year, it's just dropping out my USB ports, right? I take them all off and it's fine. And uh, it's strange, especially with the people driving around in cars that are black, that are wearing full black, right? The people are coming up to argue with you in, uh, in full black. So maybe it's a good idea to, you know, put on some all white and uh, see if the, the theory is correct and hopefully not lose your thoughts in the process, right? And I have to turn all my lights on on my mouse. Yeah, maybe RGB will save the world, and that's pretty hilarious. And uh, yeah, just be careful of that. So, a bit of an emergency message, and uh, that's all there is to it. But if you want to give it a shot, take the lamp. All right, so these are going to be some real Warhammer 40,000 hours, guys. I think uh, this is going to be a bit funny. But yeah, if you're religious, then obviously start praying, because I think Revelations is starting to unseal. One of the marks on the tanks was ZZ Box and uh, what, VXOA, right? And they stand for significant meanings as well. But yeah, if you have uh, any idea what the black means, it's Hetain, right? Which is the darkness, and uh, it's like a hemisphere and a half-empty black hole. And uh, once you know that, now share it around because it's the molecule of the number 555, right? So if you know that, now is the time to use it. And don't enter any dark places that have uh, markings that look like a black cross or a black mosque or a black synagogue or anything like that or even a shopping center or a coffee shop, sure. But yeah, be careful of that because uh, all of these are marked for kind of some kind of decay or something. But yeah, just be, be careful. Um, interesting times, I guess. <laughs> You'll be swinging incense around and shining torches in people's eyes uh, pretty soon, I reckon. But uh, yeah, there seems to be some increase in a form of a temporal or a uh, or an electron absorbing field in these objects, which did not used to happen even two or three weeks ago. But it had definitely been there. It's just a very, very low effect until very recently, right? And it's been creeping up, I think, in intensity over the years. Uh, but yeah, that's something to think about, isn't it? So anyways, uh, good luck. Luckily you can still play some games, but yeah. Um, just make sure you know what you're doing, guys, because the mark of the beast is actually going to be, uh, say if you have a cross, right? It's going to be the doubled cross, or the the A, or an LF, bowing to a 
empty H, right? So the husk bound to a husk. And that's really all it is, the mark of the beast. And uh, But yeah, be careful. We're all white, so uh, you won't sink your own thoughts into some kind of electron black hole, right? So be careful. Quantum phenomena is increasing in intensity. Anyhow, see you in the next video. I'll make an emergency announcement for that kind of thing. But uh, otherwise, look out for the blokes on the road that are driving like gronks, right? They probably have their headlights on full blast just because they can't really see anything because they're wearing all black. And yeah, turn your RGB on, right? RGB is really going to do you something. Stick a lamp to your computer and see if that helps your net code at all, because it certainly has helped me quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I've even put white nail polish onto the die of my GPU. Uh, the edges of that, I mean, where the capacitors are, so instead of being green or grey, it's now got some white pigment on it. And uh, same goes for the, the motherboard and the RAM. Try to get some pure white PC parts if you're getting any new PC parts. Even the, the circuit board is important to have to be white or blue, right? You don't want to have any dark objects in there. Anyhow, take care, and I'll see you next time.